G'day folks, I shot this video earlier today for those supporters who are supporting us through the YouTube membership platform and also the patrons over on our Farm Your Own Yard website. Uh, thank you very much for the support by the way folks. And I thought, you know, editing it, it looked interesting enough that I'd uh, post it to YouTube as well. So we're just, oh it's going to be windy here, it's just a bit of a look at um, chopping back the overgrown sweet potato and a bit of a chat while I'm going and also included a bit of a gander at some baby praying mantis I found towards the end of the day. So um, I'll stop nattering on and let you get into the video. How's it going supporters? I've been a bit slack today and haven't gotten down early enough to feed the fish in time. So I thought I'd give um, them a little bit of food and stand back and um, yeah, do a little bit of work around the uh, system and give you a bit of a look at what I'm doing. Uh, sorry if I haven't gotten back to a few of you folks uh, when you've sent emails through. I know Brian did earlier on in the week and I only just saw them this morning. Sorry about that mate. Um, I've just been flat out trying to uh, catch up on other bits and pieces. Haven't done a lot to do with the book this week but I've been helping mum and dad and our oldest daughter's had a few issues as well. So um, I'm the person who's been running around and doing all of that and also Maya's phone has died again so she's got my video phone. Um, so I'm just using my private or my personal phone at the moment uh, for all these videos. Those guys don't take long to um, smash through half a cup of feed, do they? Uh, so anyway, enough of that. Um, thought I'd give you a bit of a look at the system in general. And guess what? Still green, super green. Uh, I've gone through a bit of the lettuce in here. Uh, just taking whole plants out because they are starting to bolt um, to seed. They're starting to get very lanky. Uh, the blooming caterpillars, I tell you what, I left this one here just to show you. He nibbled, you can see that, nibbled right through the base and uh, took all the top leaves off. Oh, there's one of the smaller ones. This isn't the one that would have done it. Didn't see him earlier. But, um, yeah. Um, there's a large one in here that I just can't find. It's the one that's decimated all these other plants over there. Uh, even the big one that was looking really happy. has pretty much all had a bit of a uh, nibble on him as well. So, yeah. Not happy, Jan, as the old um, Telstra ad used to go. And that's the story with those poor beetroot. The beans, they were looking really good. Uh, somewhere on the other side I'll show you. Those guys have already polished that off. And that caterpillar just disappeared. Ah yes, the sweet potato. Look at this. He's now over the top of the um, uh, hay amarillo. Uh, the leeks are looking pretty good in there. I've actually been finding a few of those blooming caterpillars in the leeks as well. Uh, just to show you now you're in focus. They've been um, munching through those plants. Uh, the beans looking super good. Loads of little um, beans on them now. Little fruit. So very happy about that. Hoe and knock is looking good. Uh, but this stuff here, I did show it in the other video and I said I was going to tackle it. But yeah, just other things got in the way. Uh, you can see the two different varieties here by the two different leaves. Uh, that one there is from the root pouch. And this one here is from this corner of the grow bed. So I'll be uh, pulling that, I oh, will cutting this one right back. And I'm also going to take out these um, chives because I can't get right down in there to um, look after those aphids. So I figure I might as well take them out because if we look up there, uh, we have some that we're harvesting off the deck all the time. Anyway, um, so yes, to get into this, I was going to um, just have a bit of a uh, ramble or chat with you folks as I cut this back. But as I said, may has got my other phone that I normally record my other vocal into or voice into. So I'll set the tripod up with this one and I'll just get stuck into it, cutting this stuff back. So in previous videos, people have left comments suggesting that I try and root sections of these vines down in the soil. I don't really want to do that because I'm trying to grow just straight aquaponic sweet potatoes with this lot here. So I'm just going to leave them in the bed for the time being. In one of the next systems we build, I might play around with a bit of a hybrid, the um, potato rhizomes in the bed and some vines growing in the soil like I've done previously. Yeah, but just for this system here at the moment, I'm not going to worry about that. So there we go, folks. I took off a load that was underneath the bed as well. And you can still see some coming down there. I just didn't want to pull them off because we have them growing. I can't see really in the viewfinder there, but yeah, we do have them growing through the beans there and they're growing down the side there as well. Um, so I'm going to have to um, come through this little uh, avenue here, this side access and try and pull all this back. I might just snip it off while I'm in there. And while I'm in there I'll be pulling out this aphid infested chives as well as I said. Um, so I'll set the camera up on a slightly different angle so hopefully you can see what I'm doing. Look what I just found. Nice big caterpillar. Uh, it's not like any I've seen around the system before so 
I'm actually going to be nice, nip it off and pop it with all these scraps. It can go down the back there and um, yeah, hopefully at least get enough nutrients to become a butterfly from that. Um, seriously though, I'm not concerned about it being an issue with the system because obviously if, if that was a really bad pest species, I would see a lot more of them and a lot more damage. Um, but I haven't, so that's the only one. Just to give you a look, this little bean here has been, its um, base is actually just down in there. It's been totally overtaken by the um, sweet potato and you might be able to see some of the chlorosis on the uh, bean there as well. And I have a feeling that's because this sweet potato and also the nasturtium next door is just using so much nutrients out of the system that we're starting to see deficiencies again. I have been dosing fairly regularly with the iron and the magnesium, um, but I have a feeling I'll need to do more. And I just noticed those blooming little black aphids are on the beans as well. So the beans I will save, but those um, uh, Chinese chives are definitely going. So anyway, um, I'll get back to it and we'll save this bean or try to. And um, yeah, hopefully I can finish this before the rain comes. So I was just clearing back some of the nasturtiums down there so I could see where I'm walking and guess what jumped out? Blooming cane toad. So I'll dispatch that fella and throw him in the compost down the back under the uh, papaya tree. Um, but yeah, that, that looks pretty good in there. I can at least see what's under there. I actually can find, see where my um, iron packet went <laughs> that I dropped the other day. Couldn't find. Um, empty one, of course. I was topping up a bottle. But I'm thinking I might um, try and trim some of this back down here as well with a fence line. Mainly because I had a look around the corner and I do know that sweet potato is growing next door. So yeah, we'll cut that back so Pauline doesn't have them running through. And I might cut back some of this as well. Oh, by the way, um, while I'm looking down here, we're getting the house painted next week. Uh, just depending on the rain, hopefully they'll start by Wednesday. And um, I was planning on moving whoops, the um, aquaponic system well before they came to paint the house, but things just, you know, didn't turn out that way. And I've got to keep an eye on where that toad is. Um, but yeah, um, they will be painting it. They're, what they're using to strip the paint um, hopefully won't cause an issue. I've already um, spoken to the chap doing it, and he said it's like 99% um, effective at capturing all any dust or paint flakes. So I'll just have to wait and see about that. So. Yeah, this weekend Bianca and I will just be moving stuff that's leaning up against the side of the house so they have better access for the scaffolding. But anyway, I better get into uh, trimming back this sweet potato here. So there we go, she's cleaned out through there. I was, was contemplating just letting them grow in the soil here because a lot of this has come out of wicking beds. Um, but then yeah, um, it would pose a problem if it kept going next door to Pauline's. And I also um, dislodged um, the access port to the sewer line there. Um, some of the roots have grown under the concrete. so. Um, I'll have to fix that. Um, yeah, the landscapers did a dodgy, dodgy as job, but anyway. Um, so I need to fix that. And yeah, I just didn't like the idea of the roots just hanging around there. Um, so anyway, she's cleaned up. I can see what's under the bed now, including that cane toad that is hiding just there beside the pavers. So as for what am I going to do with this stuff here? Well, there's a lot of roots on this vine. So I'm hoping they might take down the back like the previous lot I threw down. I'll give you a bit of a gander. There's the little native bees, and just before I show you the sweet potatoes, we've got a couple of flowers on this turmeric here. There's a couple down in there, one up the top, and another one, if I can get around these leaves down the bottom. Um, so yeah, they're doing okay. We've actually got a number of volunteer turmeric popping up down here. Um, this is where I was just burying a lot of the scraps for a while, uh, just at the base of this papaya. This is the one that rotted out over winter, all the main trunk did but that forced a lot of side shoots. So these small branches on the side are uh, what I was planning on air layering. I think I mentioned it a couple of um, hangouts ago with supporters, um, but yeah, the other small tree in the um, uh, wicking barrel there has taken off with a couple of small fruit on it. Uh, they're not doing too crash hot. I haven't fed this bed up at all this year and the ginger is still doing rather well, as you can see, it's taken over the whole bed and we have some of the finger ginger down the back there. And I do have some small ginger plants just growing um, in the mulch underneath the mango tree and some gallangal up the back there, just where I've thrown some scraps. Um, yeah, in these turmeric here. But anyway, we're talking sweet potato. Uh, this is where I threw the last pile of sweet potato scraps from the aquaponics. So what I'm thinking is I might come down here tomorrow morning actually and hit all this grass with the line trimmer. Um, just cut it all back. I should say weeds and grass. 
and then I might just throw those um, the next batch of sweet potatoes next to these guys here. There's a fair bit of the wood chippy soil down here, so they should do fairly well, fingers crossed. Just before we go, folks, I thought I'd give you a bit of a look at this. We have had some baby praying mantises hatch from their oasika or egg sac. There's actually one I just saw down here on the bean plant is hiding just under there. But there are a load of other babies. I can't really see with the glare on my phone, unfortunately. But there's um, one on this little leaf over here. And there's another one on this leaf here. There we go, now he's in focus. And I noticed a number of them um, over on this little section here. It's a little bit too windy. I can't really get these all, all of them in focus, but there's a number on this section of the plant there. Um, so yeah, really chuffed about that. Uh, it's really funny because I had an email sent to me by Brian. Cheers, mate. Thank you very much. And he shared a photo with me of an Oasika. He actually caught it with the baby praying mantis coming out of it. And he also shared it over on our supporters page as well on Facebook, which was great of him. Really appreciate it, mate. So yeah, I thought you folks would find this a little bit interesting. It's always great to have a few predators wandering around the patch. So I hope you enjoyed that little bit of a uh, quick look at those baby mantis on the plants behind me. I'm sorry if it's getting a bit gusty in the mic there, folks. I would also like to uh, thank you all for coming along and watching these videos, thumbing them up and sharing them around if you think folks find them interesting. This one might be a tad slow, but there are loads of useful aquaponics videos if you want to share them around with your family and friends, and there'll be a link to a playlist down below. Uh, just a quick mention, I've got to do it. Um, we do have that backyard aquaponics for beginners guide available. There will be a link also down in the description and a little uh, direct link will pop up here to our website that explains it a little bit more. And also I'd like to thank those folks who I have been chatting to through the guide who've had a couple of questions. I hope I've been helping you folks out. I'd also like to thank those folks who are supporting the channel through the YouTube membership platform and our patrons over on the Farm Your Own Yard site. Thank you very much, folks. But I will pretty much all leave it there. I do hope you've all had a fantastic weekend and enjoyed the live chat. If you are uh, managed to catch that on Sunday, do hope you're well and happy and your gardens are booming and I'll catch you folks later. Cheers all and happy growing.